Hi, Keep It Crazy family. So yesterday was a life-changing day. Like, okay, so so much went on in when we went to Florida. And there was so much on camera, so much footage to go through. Like, hours and hours of stuff happened. And obviously, we had to condense it down to 20-minute <laughs> videos. Some of them were even longer because there was just so much. Um, but something that happened on the trip um, that we didn't actually film or anything like that is Savannah and Lucas found out um, that their biological grandma was in the hospital having surgery. Um, unfortunately, she has been put on hospice. Um, so part of the trip, they were really upset and crying and it was really difficult because we were so far and we can't just like go. Um, so yesterday we were able to take them to go say their goodbyes and to see their biological grandma. Not just their biological grandma, a bunch of biological family. There was aunts, there was cousins, there was so many people. I was super nervous um, going into it. I just was like, I don't know, it was just to meet everybody and to be in that environment and for people that we've never met before. Um, Savannah and Lucas, though, have had a lot of contact with their aunts and uncles and cousins and all of that. Um, they have remained contact and, and they, they're the family, you know, and so I didn't know what to expect going into it. Um, and we, we captured a little bit of the trip. We're going to go ahead and play those clips from the trip yesterday and then um, we'll explain to you how it went after those clips. So here it is. All right. We are running a little bit late. It's early. We're trying to get on the road. Let's go. How are you doing? Yeah. It's early. <laughs> <laughs> it's a yeah, yeah morning, right? Are you excited to see everyone now? Your yeah. bio family? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Is everything you need? Yeah. Yeah. Except for shoes. Put your shoes on. <laughs> Where is Savannah? There she is. Good morning. <laughs> How are you feeling? You don't know. Is this going to be a hard day for you? Oh. Lucas was just saying that he got his brother something. I got him a present. Oh, you're so yeah. nice. He's gonna love that. Yeah, his headphones actually just broke, so this definitely helped. We and need, I haven't even opened it. We need to wrap it. That's true. You need to get some <laughs> wrapping paper. <laughs> uh, do you think there's wrapping paper in there? Probably not. I, I doubt it. I don't think so. <laughs> it's okay. We can find some place. There's probably ice a, cream and there's shakes. some in a Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Or Taco Pizza Bell. Hut. You could put it in a Taco Bell box or a little bag. Anything to do with food. <laughs> so it's actually funny. All right, we're stopping at McDonald's real quick because we're all starving and it's so early. And we're about two hours from our destination. So let's go. I feel like it's going fast. Yeah, it's going really fast. Yeah, Yay. I'm kind of used to driving that because we went on the 30 hour trip. <laughs> I was like, is this much better than your 30 hour trip? Oh, yeah. What are you trying to do? I don't want to pick out the onions. I'm training him both of my burritos for this. Okay. He's yeah. a pretty good I train. Get <laughs> Do you like onions? And green chilies? Then okay. Then you'll be fine. <laughs> and you did not get scammed. Oh. How's your sandwich, Aaron? Good. Oh, it's juicy. Mm. Did you get scammed? <laughs> We are here, the drive went by so fast. Um, we're not gonna vlog inside um, their grandma's house. Well, it's not a, their grandma's in hospice currently. And so we're just gonna let them spend that special moment and time together um, and say their goodbyes. <laughs> so we just left and the most incredible experience. Yet. Like those are some amazing people that we just met. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys knew. You didn't Becky, just meet. You know. Becky, Becky is incredible. Chris, Sky, Chris, Dallas, Sky. and that Aisha, the little the boy in the thing was Dallas. Yeah. Tell yeah, him who Dallas is. Oh yeah, that that clip you just saw. That's Dallas. Who is he? 
Um, Our he's cousin. my cousin. <laughs> I grew up with him. He's been asking about me ever since like he didn't see me that much anymore. Uh, he's like, yeah, he kept asking. They so okay. We actually this is kind of fun, but with their aunt Becky. Um, we are going to take a little family vacation with them coming oh, up yeah. this summer. So, because she, really she has the, the same, same birthday. birthday as, July 22nd. Yeah. I know. Ah. Yeah, and then he gets to join because apparently he's a 22nd baby too. You're a 22nd baby, just not I the same month. 22nd baby. Yeah. 22nd, yeah. But how are you guys <laughs> feeling now that you got to see your, your Nana and all of that? Better. Way better. You better. feel way better? Yeah. Good. And she couldn't really talk a lot, but she did say that she loved them and that she knew she that they were there. And she asked if they were okay. And she was talking about us. She or Becky last said that night. she was talking about us last night. Oh, yeah. that's so special. Okay, so they recommended Becky recommended this little place called Mr. D's for lunch. So we're gonna eat lunch, and then we're gonna actually head over to their nana's house because they're. About an hour. Yeah, about an hour. And they're cleaning it out and to see if they can get any pictures or anything that they have memories of. So we are going to go ahead and do that next. Oh, crap. This Mr. D's looks so cool. It looks really cool. Milkshake. It's, it's a, like It's old. a diner and dive. Oh. oh. Is that what they call it? Let's try it. Let's do it. It's so cute. It has a pink stripe. You know it's good. <laughs> yes. Right? Does it have glitter? That's the question. It doesn't have glitter though, so oh, it like went down a couple high, points. Though. Oh yeah, the windows kind of shine. Oh, there's a You okay there? Yeah. <laughs> good. Lucas, look at this. They have a hot dog with mac and cheese in it. That looks good. Like what? <laughs> I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before either. This is so fun. Look at these milkshakes. Look how good it looks. That's a good Oh my gosh. We have to get that. We have to get a milkshake. What kind? Uh, I'm always with a no kind of guy. So cute. I've never seen it like, actually no I have. And one other diner, but. I'm so glad they didn't put a cherry on it. You don't like cherries? No cherry on top? I probably would have given it to some. This reminds me of where we met, Five and Diner. It really does. Yeah, I love diners like this, it's so cute. Yeah. the best food I've had in so long. So no offense, was, Aaron. Your food is so really good, good too. No, it was good. <laughs> but it was so good. If you're ever in Kingman, I highly recommend eating there. Yes. So good. Yes. Highly recommend. Yes. Mom, we should ride electric scooters all the way there. <gasps> we should. <laughs> it is windy. <laughs> I got wind blown. Ah! Oh, my head. The door flew away from me. <laughs> We had a little bit of a wild ride on the car too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are now headed over to their grandma's house. We Yay. need to stop by a Dollar General and get wrapping paper. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We'll wrap that. that for Elijah. Is Elijah over there? Yeah, he should be. I, he's, okay. He know. called me. Hold on, let me call him. Okay, we are gonna get on the road. How do you feel? Awesome. Is this bringing back so many memories? Yeah. Yes. Over here is not so many good memories right here. But Mainly that area. Yeah. Um, but over here. But everywhere else, yeah. good memories. Roadhouse 95. I remember going there. Okay. This hospital actually is where I got pneumonia. There's the helicopter we used to watch like every time we'd pass by. Sometimes it would take off, which is really yeah. sick. That's where well, another gym. helicopter. What's your guys' favorite memory in this area? Uh, the house over there. See, there's Texas. We used to always like walk to Dollar General and get a bunch of snacks and watch like movies and stuff. It's crazy because so I used to live in St. John's when I was little, and I don't want to miss St. John's. Uh, it's not right it's, here. That's so go up. It's yeah, the next, uh, next okay. light. Yes, you guys are better than the navigation. They nope. didn't say wait till the next light. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it tells me. Um, 
<laughs> Anyways, I used to live in St. John's and then I moved away. Oh, no, right here. Right, right here? Keep going. No, right here. Yeah, oh, okay. At the light. At the light. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> um, and I moved away when I was 11. So I was like around your guys' age when you, like, you left. But um, when I went back to St. John's, just all like the memories and like how cool it was to like see all of the different things again. Oh, well, Lamborghini. You've never seen Lamborghini. Right here, they did all the car shows. Oh, right here? Yeah. Really? So cool. yeah. We are here and we are going to head inside right now. Little Savannah. Look at little Savannah and Lucas. Oh my gosh, they're so little. There's so many like childhood pictures and different things and it's just the cutest thing. Look at this. Look at you. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, he's so cute. Yeah, we're taking this. Oh, definitely. Yeah. One look. Oh. I'm kidding. This. Was that in your room before? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and look, this is your backpack. Because oh. it has your initials on it from school a long time ago. Whoa. He said you can take that. Not that you need it, it's just school I mean, supplies, but hey. It's a memory. That's true. That's cute. Look at this. He's so cute. Aw, <laughs> you found a ball? That yeah. used to be yours? Yeah. Look at the cute pictures I found. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so cute. I love it. <laughs> so that's when Savannah, yeah. or Lisa, was three. That's how tall she was. Short. Where's you? I'm There's her at six. Eight. Oh, that's eight. Wow, she grew in three years. Yeah, she grew a lot in three years. Aww. So there's a whole wall of like they marked their height. I was as taller they grew. than Elijah when he was 15. That's so cool. Let's go. That's so fun. Then, I wish you could take the wall off and bring it with. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that's going to work though. I mean. <laughs> so which one was your room? That one. Yeah, this go one? show your dresser. Show me your room. You to to. Uh, was this all your stuff? Yeah, I don't know if I think. There's still money in here. Are you serious? Yeah. There's like a dollar and some coins. Are you wanting to take this? Probably not this whole thing. To go through it? Is there something in there that's special that you want to keep? Some sunglasses. <laughs> Look at all your little wallets and unicorn sunglass holder. <laughs> your sunglasses probably, or your glasses might fit in there. We don't want to talk about that. <laughs> you don't talk about that. We don't talk about Bruno. No, mom. No. <laughs> Mermaiding. Mermaiding. Was that a journal? Do you have anything good in there? I don't know. Let's see. There's a little sketchbook. Let's see if you wrote anything cute. There's an agenda. There's, there's probably something in here. A notebook? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> something Very good I would sketch. do. Oh. Yeah. That's cute. Oh, there's something right here. I think I. <laughs> Aww. We're gonna talk about that. That's very cute. There's stickers. What? I'll bring these to Aurora. She'll have fun. She would love that. It's so cute. Some <laughs> some headphones. Oh wait, I, this is cute. Hold on. Families are forever. Oh, I love that. You should definitely bring that. Oh, and then my aunt Cindy bought me this. It's a little watch thing. Oh, like that's you can replace nice. that part in the little band. This used to be Lucas's room that we're standing in. He's over here going through his old stuff. Oh Do you want me to get gosh. you a box? A yearbook. <gasps> Ooh, that's a good find. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> there, Johnny. Hi. It's emotional, like seeing that. I'm glad we actually came. Yeah, here. I'm happy. 
Do you guys feel like you got some closure? Yeah. Like to, Definitely. yeah. It's just surreal to like see where they grew up and like see baby pictures, you know? You that we haven't talk seen about those baby yeah. pictures. You are so cute. What are you Did talking you grab about? The baby pictures? Yeah. So next, we are gonna stop by a Dollar General really quick and pick up um, like a gift wrapping bag for them to put the present in for no, Elisha. Oh wait, never. Mind. We already showed. <laughs> he'll, he'll probably have it by then. Yeah, he'll have it before this video goes up. Um, and then we are gonna go over and see their brother Elisha next. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you who have been with our channel for a while, know that when we lived in St. John's, a little small town, the only place we could shop was a Dollar General. So being at this Dollar General brings back a lot of memories because we haven't been to one since we moved from St. John's. That's so true. So I'm curious to see this inside of this Dollar General. It's a lot better than the St. John's one. Is oh. it better than the St. John's one? Okay. Dang. Challenge accepted, Dollar General. <laughs> I still remember every place. Okay. Hmm. Which one should we get? The truth is, I'm such a nice person. You were right. I know. It is nicer than the St. John's. I'm so nice. You're so nice. When we were walking in, there was a lady struggling, and Lucas went over and helped her. Well, that was very nice of you. Okay, get a bag that you think it'll fit in. Shark. I think this one. No, I think sweet baby. Sweet baby. <laughs> the shark uh, one's pretty cool. I think we should get. It's a girl. Just give Liz. Let's get it's a girl. Party till you pop. <laughs> wow, this is really gonna take long. We have to see Elijah. <laughs> you dropped it, <laughs> sir. Sir, it's Elisha. This fall is a little more than I expected. Oh, yes. Dude, you were awesome. I have to open it up. So that trip was, I'm trying not to cry, I don't know why, I'm just so emotional and I don't know, okay, so the trip was life changing, I felt like. I was nervous going into it and I was like, didn't know what to expect and I think a lot of times when kids come from foster care people have this um, stigma or I guess this like thought that like oh their family didn't love them or oh you know like they're not good people or that kind of thing and that is so far from the truth and meeting the aunt and she was just like the sweetest thing and the cousins and like everyone was so welcoming of our family and so happy for Lucas and Savannah and just so, I can't even describe it, I don't know. My other thought, so when you get a child from foster care, really at any age, there is this previous life. Um, there's this previous experiences, previous things that they've gone through that you like even if you know your kid in the moment and you know who they are and you know you know what they're about and all of this they're still a part of their lives that you weren't a part of and that's hard it's hard it's so hard and they can tell you stories and things but there's never really feels like complete i don't know i think for me like so yeah you have these kids that come from foster care and i think a lot of people um have this stigma that Oh, these kids that are in foster care, their previous life was all bad. That's not the case. It's not true. They had so many stories that they could tell. And it was just, it was amazing to hear this missing part of Lucas and Savannah's life that we weren't a part of. So it was happy and it was great. Their previous life is not all horrible. Yeah. And to see that and to be a part of that and to meet those, those people and... Yeah, it was just, it was a, it was life changing, absolutely. And as we drove around like the town, they were like, oh, right there is where I fell and I got this scar on my knee from that. And that's where we used to watch movies and do like a little outdoor movie place. That's and our favorite Italian restaurant. Yes. Yeah. And then what was the, oh, the other one? I got pneumonia and I went to that hospital for that. And so we had all these like, different things where it was like putting all of the pieces together and it felt like 
almost surreal. Like it just felt, I don't know, I can't talk. So it just felt like I finally knew my kids. Like, I don't know, it just felt like these missing pieces were like, came together. And I thought it was gonna be a really sad trip. Um, obviously the reason why we were going. But I feel like there's so many families out there that like don't get together until something sad or something major is going on like that. And I wish that wasn't the case. And I want to see their aunts and like get to know their family even more under a little bit better of a circumstance. But I just, I don't even know how to, <laughs> it just changed my perspective. And now I'm like thinking like, which kids can I take to like their path? I mean, obviously some are as, as positive of experiences, but I wish I could do that for every one of our kids, like to really, really, truly understand them. Like, I feel like I know Lucas and Savannah on a whole other level now. And I feel like these little parts that I had questions about are like gone. And I just feel so good about it. And I just feel so, I'm so thankful that we went on that trip. I am too. I was tired of being in the car, but that drive and everything, and it was just, it was amazing. Yeah, because you just drove back from Florida. <laughs> I was like, another road trip. I know you just drove 36 hours, but... Anyways, okay. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> um, the other last little thing I'll say before we go ahead and end it is um, the closure that came from it. And Savannah and Lucas on the way home were like, I feel like at peace. Like it was just like this peaceful, because when kids come into foster care, they get ripped out of those homes and they get sent away. So they did have contact with their aunts and cousins and all of that, but to go back to that situation and see it in person and kind of play was, out those and feelings. And it was contact over the internet and through text. And yeah, they did some FaceTime calls here and there, but so to be able to hold those people and give them a hug and it was just, it was like the longest hugs I've ever seen and the embrace and the relief and closure like in Lucas and Savannah was just, I, I haven't seen and, that in person And not ever. just them, their family, their aunt yeah. and their grandma and yeah. It was just incredible. So anyways, we are going to go ahead and end it here, but thank you guys for coming along that journey with us. A lot of it obviously wasn't filmed, like all the personal stuff and those personal hugs and the incredible part of it. Um, but you guys saw at the house, you know, like even seeing where they were measured on the wall and like, I don't know, it was just surreal. So, all right. Well, thank you guys. I love you guys. Hang in there. We'll Bye. see you next time. Have her from the sky.